Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 14 of Agrarian Skies with Pahimar. Pahimar, what's going on? I've been busy. I see you have been too. Have you? Uh, yeah, I've done a few things. I, uh, I fleshed out the AE system a little bit, but according to you, you've done a whole bunch of stuff. I also fleshed out a little bit of the smelteries, kind of just adding on to what we've already done. So you can see I, I removed all the barrels over here and imported them all into the AE system. And I also um, now have our... Um, uh, ME interface here instead of a chest. So pretty much all the items that get created from our auto crafting or our auto, you know, oak sieve things uh, automatically go into that. And I've also got vacuum hoppers up there to try and make it a little bit more clean and tidy. You know, you only and then, need one, um, right? I do, but I was trying to work around an issue that I ran into. Yeah, I heard about that. I see you still got the water up there too. I do. I was just really more or less testing to see if this would help, and I kind of left it there. It helps a little bit compared to what we have. Basically, from what I'm told, is item entities like laying on the ground aren't fans of fake players and chunk looting or something. I don't know. CPW and players seem to understand what the issue is. I have no idea. I see you've also managed to siphon off some blood that was showing up in this smeltery. Yeah, I think what happened was, and that's why I installed seared glass here, I think I made this smeltery so tall because I added some height to it that it was actually, even though I had a torch on the top, it was not lit enough and there were mobs spawning in there. Yeah. So you want to see what I've so done? What I've done. Yeah, but real quick, I also set up precision export oh, yeah. buses yeah. over here. Oh yeah, so, I see that. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, so you can check right-clicking on it to see what's getting dumped into the things. So long story short, I'm only putting the dust in because I'm not even bothering with the blocks. I could have our AE system auto-craft the blocks, but... It's been my experience that it's not a good idea to kind of do it that way. So I kind of let it... And besides, it's keeping up as it is, so I'm not really worried about it. Perfect. Yeah, so everything is centralized through the AE system now. So, like, all transporting of items is applied to logistics at this point for ores and uh, item collection and all that stuff. So, yeah, I see you've been busy. Yeah, so it's probably best if you come with me. Okay. So first off, I've made us a little bit more space. Okay. Can, I'm cool with that. Yeah, because we're going to need to start setting up some pretty big time automation. So over here, yeah, over here, I'm setting up some pens for some mob spawners. Okay, that looks cool. So we'll uh, we'll get going with this. We'll probably uh, tear down this uh, spawner and actually start just targeting what we're uh, collecting. So okay. Like Enderman and stuff like that. Cool. So let's see, if you want to come down here... So let's see, would you be auto-killing stuff in here? Sorry, yes. Okay. Cool. So we want to come downstairs. So you're going to need four grinders then? One yep. for each yep. side? Okay. Yeah, cool. one for yeah, each of one. these little rooms. And there's going to be a few more rooms. So. Okay. I Looking had to expand nice down out here. down here because I needed room to work. Okay. Gave us a little bit more room in the mob essence tank because I'm going to need to move that under here because we're going to want to collect the mob essence from the grinders. Nice. And then probably the biggest change is if you want to come on over here. I'm disabling this item output because I want to start collecting, unless you... No, okay. I want to start collecting the items that are like the swords and the tunics. Oh, and it's going to fill up very stuff. quickly. That's cool. Yeah, I want to get those so that I can route them directly into the trash can and have everything else route to the AE system, by the way. So you may have noticed something's missing over here. Yeah, all our power gen. Well, you want to come downstairs? All the lava gen. Oh, there's a new downstairs. Oh, my. Say hello. Hello. Say hello to 48 crucibles pumping us full of magma. Nice. I like it. That's a massive amount of magma you got going on here. Yeah, and so I... So basically everything we did off camera was just an expansion of what we've already been doing. It's not like we did all kinds of crazy work off camera and you guys missed anything interesting. It was basically just, hey, we did all the stuff that we've done before and we're just expanding it now. Yeah, and I've also nice. added an extra deep storage unit down here. Oh, okay. Uh, if you want to come back up to where the AE system is. A new deep storage unit, eh? Yeah, so we kind of had our extra cobble coming out in a couple different places. Yeah. So I've set up this guy right here with the storage bus to the AE system. So I'm going to have all the extra cobble come into this guy, 
and then it's also okay. available through the AE system. So that's what I was just doing as you got onto the server here, is I was okay. just moving all of our cobble down here to this guy, and that'll free up the one that's upstairs. Nice. And then I think then we'll I think... also want to set up some pulverizers and stuff down here into some other deep storage units and actually start getting things like sand and whatnot. Okay. Because sand so... is one of those things we need. So you've got igneous extruder, and that's going into any excess igneous extruder piping out down here goes into the barrel upstairs. Yep, and then yep. we'll, ha then we'll, we'll actually have, have to have, I believe the calculation is another 48 igneous extruders just pumping directly into the deep storage unit in order to have a reasonable amount of time to uh, to do the cobblestone hoarding quest. So. Oh my. Yeah, it I'm takes 48 igneous extruders. Uh, I thought I saw uh, someone do the math for me. It was 48 igneous extruders for 42 hours. Will give you enough cobble to do that one. Holy cow. Yeah, so that's another reason why I did the space underneath here is that we can kind of hide all the ugly stuff that we don't need. Right. And just kind of have access to all the stuff we do need down here. Interesting. Well, now I understand why she disabled transfer nodes cuz you could Cobble gen a lot faster with transfer nodes. And I added a whole bunch more um, elevators because I know how much you love elevators. I do love elevators. Thank uh, you, sir. I love the reaction that people had to the Direfall video. Yeah, like somebody made an animated GIF of it and like all kinds of other fun stuff. I was dying. I was glad people enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah, yeah they did. <laughs> <laughs> you were literally dying. Yeah, I was. That was that was not fun, but so, I enjoyed it. The other thing I want to do is, now that I have all of our magma production centralized, I want to right. centralize all of our power gen, and then use Tesseracts okay. to Tesseract. move the power around as we need it. Because cool. one of the things we're also going to need to make is one of those laser drills, and that takes a ton of power. So I think we want all of our power in one spot, and then we just route it around as we need it. Okay, that works for me. Because otherwise, we're going to have a lot of duct work underneath here. Yeah, it gets kind well, of yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, and we now have the ability to auto craft tesseracts, so that should make our lives a lot easier. Indeed. So I'm cleaning so. up some cable work that I have here that's been. Why don't you just use the wrench? For a while. the wrench? What do you mean? Can't you just wrench it? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I to I totally stole it. I mean, yeah, you can wrench it if you want, but where's the fun in that? Oh yeah, you totally took away all the wires, so I can't dump it in there. It should be connected. It wasn't when I tried to use it, is all. It is all. Yeah, I had accidentally broken one piece, but yeah, it's up now. So, all right, cool. So, let's see. Let's take a look at our quest books, because we've done a lot of infrastructure. I feel like we should probably take a look at some quests for a minute. Do we want to look at Hell's Kitchen or Steel Power at all, or should we keep going on with the for the hoarding stuff and just get the infrastructure in place for all the hoarding we're going to need to do? Uh, I was going to finish up with the power collection and get some Tesseracts going with that, and then I was going to get into some squeezers and whatnot. Okay. So you're going to do bees? Is that the way we decided this? Yeah, I'll do bees too. You're sure? Uh, I'm sure. Okay. Pahi for the bees. If you have questions, though, come see me, because it's been a while since I've played with them. Ask you. I'm ask you. All right, cool. It's been a little while since we've uh, since you've played with them, or, or since i played with them, but I don't think they've changed all that much, so... No, we got a ton of hives. That'll help. Also, there is there is a new mod that modifies how bees work, so... Gendustry. Yeah, that. Apparently, it makes them a lot easier, so that's kind of good. All right, so then um, I guess maybe I'll look at Hell's Kitchen a little bit and get us some better food. Sounds like a plan, because we also want to find out what plants we need to harvest and stuff. Okay. That sounds cool. So I'm actually going to come over here to that sludge boiler that we have going on. Um, I want to get some salt. Oh yeah, look at all the stuff we got from our sludge boiler. We actually have a decent amount of cool stuff. Yeah, that's the other thing. I want to get the I want to get a second sludge boiler set up because we're gonna have so much sludge real sludge real shortly, and I want to get all this stuff into the AE system too. Because like that's a okay, ton of sand and dirt. We need a lot of that stuff. Right. You know what? We should probably get the magic stuff there, too. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's we tons can go for the magic stuff too. 
We're not hurting for things to do. Oh, we are definitely not hurting for things to do. I'm just deciding which of the many things we need to do that I want to do. Do all the things, Dyer. Okay, you're the boss, Bahi. <laughs> so, I need some milk. Well, it just so happens we have a lot of cows now. Nice. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing some stuff like something that lets me run faster. I'm tired of running so slow. That's why I'm thinking maybe getting to Thalmcraft. Yeah, some boots of the traveler, traveler would be nice. That would be really nice. You know what? I'm yeah, even cleaning up this system you have here, too. And stuff, right? What's that? I think I might clean up your sifter setup, too. You I have a better, that. Design, have a better in, design in uh, in mind. That would be cool. I'm I'm cool with that. You see, you sound so sad about it. It's like, oh, but I love it. I love it because it does stuff. Yeah, I was trying to make it a little bit more automated or a little bit more reliable. Butter and heavy. I'm just waiting for that uh, deep storage unit to finish dumping into that big barrel. Saucepan, heavy cream, salt. Heavy cream is a milk bottle and a mixing bowl. So I'm going to need a mixing bowl. I need a mixing bowl, not a bowl. And I need a milk bottle. I'm assuming a bucket of milk won't do, but I can try the fresh milk. Oh yeah, heavy cream, that works. Okay, that's nice. All right. Nice and easy um, yeah, I'm learning how things work in Harvestcraft. So that gets there me the heavy go. cream that I... Oh, I also made us a bunch of barrels so we can automate dirt production too. Oh yeah? Been a busy boy, Dyer. So I see. Mecha paw. Seriously, man. Alright, so that'll get me that, and now all I have to do is make cheese. Which is a pot. We may have a pot somewhere, but I don't know. It seems like something we might have somewhere. You have so much lava, it's a ridiculous. Right? Uh, hey, guess what? What's up? I'm ready to hand in the Spice It Up quest. That took no time flat. No, pretty much. So I'm going to claim the rewards. Which, by the way, gives us a strong box, which is kind of cool. And another nice. life. Nice. Total of 32 lives. And you get a good reward bag. I got a useful reward. It's a book. With efficiency right. three on it. I got the exact same one. Okay. Weird. How's that useful? Because we can enchant items. Yeah, but it's not an enchanted book. It's just a book book. Oh, oh yeah. We're also going to need that glacial precipitator for a hoarding quest, too. We need a lot of ice. Yeah, we do. That's not too hard to make. Um, how much ice do we need? Smoothies and ice cream can be made by mixing snow oh, and juice. We need 5,000 ice. That doesn't seem too bad. Well, I'm going to make a glacial precipitator because uh, that's my next quest item thing. Sounds like a plan. don't think I taught this how to do AE stuff yet, or TE stuff. So I'm going to teach it machine frame, encode... I totally got myself stuck downstairs. So you know what? I think there's a problem. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I stand corrected. There is no longer a problem. What'd you do? I thought she was going to make this hard on us. She made it easy on us, Bahamar. Okay, what did she do? Um, the glacial precipitator? T 
typically requires snow to craft it. And she took that requirement out? Correct. She made it two water buckets instead. Oh, nice. Not that snow's hard to get. Snow's yeah. Hard to get. Yeah. So I'm ready to hand in my next quest. <laughs> Unless there's a part two. No, there isn't claim reward. Jeez. I know. Can't keep me down. I got... Okay, but not great reward. Mutton jerky. I get so excited for these rewards, but like, to be honest with you, nine times out of ten. I got sixteen pearl oysters. Oh. Don't know what they do. Don't tell me. No, neither do I. Uh, where would you like the glacial precipitator that I just made? It needs power and it needs a water source, infinite water. Uh hmm. I'm open to ideas. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could put it like, well, that would require power over here, and we really don't have any. That's handy. I mean, I could just make another aqueous accumulator. That's not too hard to make. Yeah, I want to. I want to automate all the things with AE. I'm gonna automate more with AE than I've ever automated before. So where's your power gen? I guess I, is this the main I, power gen right here? Uh, no, it's gonna be down below. Is it? Hidden out of sight. I just haven't set it up okay, yet. It I'm up. just trying to um, get a better tank set up. All right. Do you mind if I just temporarily cook, kick this thing off? Go for it. Right, I'm just going to put it here for now, and then we can move it when you're ready to move it. So now we can make that kind of stuff. Uh, so vegan delight, toasty bread. Hey, we need to make 10,000 toast. Well, that's good. We should set up a wheat farm. Yeah. Uh, we also need to make 10,000 vinegar and 100 hearty breakfasts. This is basically a For the Hoarding Quest series. 50,000 lettuce. Are you surprised? Honestly. No, but I thought this was like another one of those like, hey, here's how you can go through the mod and get some easy stuff going on. Nope. Uh, nope. Some people don't like meat. I disagree. Some people dislike blah, blah, blah. Soybeans. When placed in a presser from Harvest Craft, process into soft tofu and soy milk. Cobble collated. Cool. Well, unless that's one of those, there's more than one. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. So now I have to get some firm tofu and some soy milk. Oh, man. 200 of each. Do we have any soybeans? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go look. We should consolidate these chests into the A system as well, by the way. Oh, yeah. Seeds. Oh, yeah. I imagine they would be in seeds. Like how you're doing all the quest work, and I'm just cleaning up. Yeah, so there's soybean seeds, which you can get from soybeans. And... Two soybeans equals two soybeans, so that's helpful. 
But I don't see us having soybeans anymore, so we're gonna have to figure out. It doesn't tell me in the quest book how to get soybeans, does it? Yeah, I don't see anything about how to do soybeans. I'm not seeing any soybeans anywhere either. Oh well, I'll have to track them down. All right, what do you say we take a short break here, Pahamar, and then we'll be back to do some cool stuff? I think that sounds like a great plan. Okay, back in a moment, guys. So, Mr. Direwolf, I think I'm ready to expand our power gen. Okay. So, while you were doing your foodie stuff, because you love a good meal... I do, it's true. I've tried to centralize our power system here, and I got it going into a redstone energy cell and to a tesseract. And right now the tesseract is just sending power to the AE system so that you can do your things. But right. we're going to want more magmatics, because right now we only have seven hooked up, and this thing can take a maximum of 20, so I need to make another 13. And I've recently taught the AE system how to make them. Oh, you did? I thought it'd be a good thing. Be a good thing. I think I just figured out my problem. So I have to go fix it now. Hold on. And we might only have enough invar for two. Well, you can teach the uh, system upstairs how to make invar. You can, huh? Yeah, the uh, you can make invar in the um, thing up there. You're always so specific. Yeah, in one of the machines upstairs. I thought you could only make invar through the smeltery. Can you no longer get, like, unlimited milk from cows? There's a cooldown now. What? Yep. When did that get added? Uh, for this map. <laughs> oh, that's so awful and rude. Yep. What's the cooldown? Do you have any idea? Um, no, I don't, honestly. Pulverized iron and pulverized ferrous. And here I was trying to be smart. All right, now how do we do this pulverized thing? Dyer, I'm lost. Oh? How do I teach the induction smelter how to do this again? Uh, so yeah, you don't need to use pulverized. You should be able to just use regular ferrous and iron. What is it? Two... Two and one. Um, two iron and one ferrous, right? Oh, so I don't need to pulverize it. I can just do it. Let's test it. Right. Yeah, it should work as... Yeah, two iron and one nickel nah, equals three it. invar. Right? Okay. Okay. So what you want to do is come over to the pattern encoder and program that in. Oh, yes, that's right. Now I remember. So you're going to want to get, like, the proper ratios. Otherwise, it'll confuse it. Well, that's not what you want to do. Junk. You can uh, shift-click that thing in your hand, and it'll erase it. There you go. Perfect. And then put that in the um, thing upstairs. Dude, this cow thing has a long cooldown on the milk. That's why I think we're going to need a lot of cows. That is not cool. I had, like, an awesome thing going here. Do you have that cheese thing? I want to see how good it is. And whether or not it's worth making this less painful. Well, that filled me up. That filled me two and a half. I got three out of it. So it's not too bad. Alright, well, aside from the cow being a nuisance, I think that was almost cool. <laughs> there we go, and the magmatics are pumping. Nice. And the cow's whining over there because he's trying to be milked. And he's like, no, I don't have any more milk. Direwolf aggressively idea. milking cows. Dude, they should be infinite milkable. That's what do you take this for? Easy it. mode? Well, no. Fair enough. Okay. So, we'll be back in a minute, guys. So, Dyer, I hear, I hear you hear a lot of wisps. Yeah, Pahamar, we have a ton of wisps up here. That would probably explain why we had a sudden slowdown in enderpearls. Yeah. Ooh, they sound angry. 
Yeah, there's a lot oh of my them. Oh my goodness. Right? Is it I'm sludge uh, sludge bucket. Yeah, I'm gonna sludge them. We could automate the sludge thing, by the way, if we really wanted to. I think the idea is that once we get the mob spawner set up... Oh, I walked in the sludge. Uh, yeah, that we that can just be... safari net the ones we want and actually uh, spawn them as we want. Because uh, those packs actually give us a lot of useful mana beans. Yeah. I'll let that run a bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 113 entities, and I wonder how many of them are wisps. I think the majority of them. You know what the other problem is? Is the wisps block the um, falling thing so that mobs can't walk where the wisps are. And the wisps are kind of like stuck on the edge there. So even though there's some mobs in there, they can't get down. Yeah. I'm thinking too, when we set up these mob spawners here... Oh, I totally fell. I'm going to set up uh, blackout glass so we can see inside and see how they're going. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, cool. So I'm going to head downstairs now, and i annoyed that my cow trick didn't work. But I knew Jaded wouldn't make it that easy on me. To figure out another way to get lots of milk. I mean, I'm wondering if, like, the, the milker thing from MFR... You sound so angry while talking about milk. Because I had this, like, really cool build, and it didn't work. Because different mechanics. I think it's the harvester. No, that's the chopping down tree one. Um, item clock breaker, weather collector, sewer, composter, breeder, grinder, auto enchanter, chronotyper. It's none of those. Um, let's see. Auto disenchanter, slaughterhouse, meat packer, enchant. No, none of those either. Where is that darn thing? I don't know, I'll find it, if it still exists. It might have been disabled. Maybe she disabled it. Oh, man. Oh, no, there it is, Rancher. That's oh, that, oh, that's what it is? Yeah. Man, it's pretty awesome watching this thing auto-craft. Isn't it great? And there we go, 20 magmatics. Sweet. I'm just going to try this out, and we'll see how well it works. Now the bigger question is, is how to get the other stuff set up into it now. Do you have a power line nearby? Uh, like a leadstone? Yeah. I'll grab you some. Can I tap into this leadstone? Is this working? Yep, that's all got power. Okay, that's on? Alright. I got it. Okay, well I already got it. Except I grabbed the Except reinforce. I grabbed the reinforce. Well, I have, I have hardened. Oh, you got the hardened, oh, sorry. Got the yeah, no, we're good. Watch your feet. Don't die. Don't. And don't kill me. I'm doing my best. Me. That I'm not trying so hard for. There's some milk. Yep. Now I'm just wondering what the cooldown is on that. Nice. That's a workaround for the cooldown, buddy. About every th three minutes? Oh, no. no those are every 10 seconds. seconds. Yeah. So it's like every 10 seconds you get a bucket of milk. Nice. I will need plenty of these ranchers because I need a lot of milk. Alright, so what I'm going to do is something like... Yeah, that'll do. But I want to have the tank here, and then I'll put... Yeah, that. So that should fill that up. And then what I'm going to do is something like... Watch your feet because there is a hole to the void here. I'm going to set up the Autonomous Activator on this guy. We will say the top is the blue, we'll have an ME interface. 
Wrap this guy like that. Hockey noob is a noob. What did I do? You turned off my rancher with your redstone lever thingy. Oh. No. You're just full of complaints. Yeah. This is one of those machines that auto outputs, by the way, so you don't even need that. Alright, so then this guy, then I want... What was that explosion that sounded terrible? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I like how you said that. But no, I really don't. It concerns me. Nice! Dude, I totally got this. Come on now. Suddenly, Enderman. <laughs> right. Oh, I think it's working. Oh, Suddenly, oh, Enderman indeed. Yeah, there's so many of them now. What have you done? They are angry at me. I think we have to wrap up, by the way, buddy. Uh, you know what? I bet we do. So I fixed my milk up. problem. I'm happy. Look at that milk. Yeah, man. How cool is that? Oh, are you just... Are you... Are you just fluiding it? Yeah. Oh, so we're using the fluid storage now. Well, I'm not fluid storaging it now. I'm, um, storing it in a... I guess I could do that. I don't know if you can auto craft with the fluid storage thing. So what I'm doing is I'm storing it in a tank, and then I'm autonomously activating a bucket on the tank. And that's the crafting recipe to turn a bucket into a bucket of milk. I should probably wear armor, huh? Alright, we're way past wrapping up here, Fahamar, so we better we better do this. Oh no, don't you ready, me. Buddy? Alright, let's All wrap right, it up. Let's wrap it up. Alright, Dial 20 and Pahamar, wrapping up. Help me, Pahamar. I don't know where you are. I'm coming towards you, but backwards. Got him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dial 20 and Pahamar, wrapping up. Pahamar have unleashed the Enderman. Oh, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll be back next time for more shenanigans. Alright, guys, take it easy. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy, guys.